Hello friend, thanks for joining me for another video blog. Happy Saturday. I've been wanting to share this video with you for days now uh, because this was a big week for me. A lot of healing happened this week. A lot of pain. Um, knock at my door this week. The pain teacher came and I want to share some of this with you because the theme of July is joy. And uh, the, the topic of joy will not be complete without be, me talking about what prevents us from feeling joy, from being in the state of joy, because I call joy more a state, not a temporary emotion. A state that we can start cultivating more and more and more and make home, just like love, joy, peace, and freedom in abundance. There's states that we cultivate and we need to train ourselves to be in that state because we know well it doesn't come naturally because of our fear brain, old conditioning, um, you know, limiting beliefs, old wounds, and so on. So to make this video easy, let's just say that the opposite of joy is anger, fear, deep sadness, uh, resentment, right, which is really about, about anger. So to make it simple, let's call anger, fear, sadness, guilt that we call, we label as negative emotions. Because if you think about when you're angry, it's impossible to be feeling joy. When you're in fear, you will not be feeling joy. When you're deep hurt, deeply hurt, sad, you won't be feeling joy. So to make it simple, let's call those negative emotions um, pain, just instead of pain. So what is the bridge that is going to bring you from that state of pain to joy without bypassing, without using or overusing positive thoughts or positive mindset or bypassing by or typical um, habits or even addictions like exercise, food, alcohol, uh, shopping, relationships, right? So an addiction, as my teacher Paul Chuck says, it's any repetitive habit that you engage on that is not bringing the results that you want it's not bringing the outcome that you want and let's face it if you every time you're uncomfortable if you are exercising when you're uncomfortable if you eating if you drinking to get out of the the discomfort it's a form of addiction like social media for me so we all have this type of addictions so what is the bridge that bring us from pain to joy that is the topic of this video today i'm going to talk about this bridge the bridge that brings you from here pain to here it's grace grace i define as a state of bringing in the moment in the moment that you are struggling in the moment that you're having a hard time in the moment that you pushing and fighting Grace is bringing the energy of love, compassion, and mercy. It's basically surrender to that state that you are, the pain, and bringing grace. Grace is the bridge to get you to the joy. And I'll explain by sharing with you, if I might, a personal experience that I had this week with grace, where I literally feel that there was this feminine energy, no physical energy, that came in my meditation and literally showed in my body what grace was. Because we all can read about grace, about transformation, transcendence. We can read the books. We can meditate. We can either do some play medicines which can teach us a lot of these states of love. And we don't truly learn authentically until we embody this concept that first we understand intellectually and is a good place to start understand intellectually in understanding intellectually is for you right now taking my words okay grace is a state of love compassion and mercy so that's giving you a framework that helps the intellectual brain to understand what happened with me this week is that I embodied this state of grace. Um, it was a night that, you know, in the beginning of the week that all of a sudden 
I went into this dark place where I started experiencing a lot of fear and a lot of anger and then came the sadness but first was a lot of anger then fear and because I teach this I walk my talk I start noticing the intensity of those emotions so I stopped everything I put the phone on the side I turned off the TV I sat outside for a, a little bit to just be with those emotions and they were intense it was not fun it was dark and I never go to bed with feeling emotions like that if I go to bed I need to either resolve or feel a little bit better so I made the choice at the moment to sit by my meditation table I have like a meditation table like an altar with my stones with some pictures with crystals with sage and I just sat by my meditation table and put my elbows on the table like I'm gonna talk to the spirit right now I'm gonna talk just out loud to the universe and I start venting I start letting go my anger I start voicing my anger which is super important I teach all my clients to do that and I know a lot of people have hard time voicing connect with anger I actually worked with a teacher myself to learn how to connect with anger myself because an emotion that a lot of us suppress um, so I start talking from my anger from my fear and all of a sudden I start crying because I start touching the sadness and the sadness is usually what's underneath the anger the anger is a high charge very energizing type of uh, emotion and and it's covering a lot of times anger is covering our fear and covering our sadness so once you sit in that space that is a place of surrender which I I recommend because if you run away at that moment from that kind of pain guess what that pain will be amplified you cannot run away from healing I said and as the tears came I just sat there in silence in that moment of compassion for myself and I felt I connect with this feminine energy and it was my grandmother and you know it's this is not too esoteric you just connect with a feminine energy in your life because the feminine energy the yin energy is the nurturing is the caretaker in this qualities of compassion mercy love grace are very feminine energies they're not necessarily about women they're feminine qualities that men and women can cultivate because they are the nurturers and that's what we need at that moment the moment that we are in pain we need nurturing we need caretaking we need support and I was in just that moment that I wanted to be kind of my own support at that moment it was a moment that I felt the need to speak to a friend to anybody which you of course can do a lot of times so I connect with the energy of my grandmother and I literally found myself putting my head like this as I'm laying on her chest so again you can connect with any feminine energy it can be Virgin Mary can be any goddess from you know Greek mythology it can be your own mother your sister some feminine energy that can help you to access grace and as I went into that position I literally felt the that the tightness in my body of all those emotions of the pain all of a sudden in few seconds they alchemized they transmuted and I was left with this sense of expansion in my heart and even I smile on my face and caught me by surprise because I was smiling and I was feeling peace without doing necessarily anything the doing in this case was just being right that's the doing a lot of people ask coaches therapists teachers what do I do what do you do you need to just be with that pain and surrender because when you do that and you bring compassion and love for yourself self-compassion self-love grace can come in and I felt that shift in my body in that moment it was like I got this message from the universe saying now you know what grace feels like Alex so it was such a deep moment of healing for me I stood up and all this let's say happened in, in half an hour from the moment that I was attached to you know that I felt that deep pain and I have this shift in my body and it's very important to note that I didn't 
sit in the meditation asking, I need grace, I need this. I simply surrender. And that's key for you to understand. When you go into that place of surrender and you just let yourself be with that pain, there's this beautiful force, this energy, this intelligent energy in the field of the universe that will come and support you. Because this force is just like, it's the force that operates in our bodies. It's the force that operates in nature, with the trees, with the animals, in the rivers, in the ocean. It's this force that wants to always support us. And this force that operates in the body does not want the body to hold into pain, does not want the body to hold into wounds, dark energies, negative emotions. The body wants to move just like when you think of food poisoning. When you eat something that's not good for your body, you get nauseous, you get headaches, and eventually you purge. You go to the bathroom and you purge. And you feel much better after. Your body wants to eliminate that food that is not good. It's the same thing with these emotions. So if we just allow ourselves to feel those emotions, the body, the spirit, don't want to hold into those emotions. The problem is that most people don't want to see with those emotions and they want to distract. And with that, those emotions get bigger and bigger and bigger. That's like having an injury in the body that you ignore and you keep taking painkillers and you take stronger painkillers and you take stronger painkillers you never feel until you have a surgery and you lose the ability to move that part of your body. So it's kind of the same thing that we do with emotions. Any pain comes to us as a teacher physical, mental, spiritual, emotional pain. So I'm sharing this personal story with you because now that I embody, you know, the concept of grace, um, it's like, I feel like I'm learning more and more about the concepts of utilizing the feminine energies. And you heard me talk, I'm going to put a link here on a video that I made weeks ago about how as an, individ as an individual in our partnership and in our culture, we need, to, we need to learn how to connect with divine feminine energy because we've been pushing, forcing, making things happen. And we've been so driven by our, by our intellectual brain. And the intellectual brain is beautiful. It just cannot always be the master. You cannot heal your body. You cannot heal your emotions with an intellectual mind. It's not the same language. It's not the same language. When you ask yourself, how do you feel? It's not an intellectual answer. Feeling is a language of the body. So, I want to share this with you with the hope that you bring compassion to yourself, that you bring love towards yourself when you're hurting, when you're having pain. And it doesn't matter how long you've been doing this work. I've been doing this work of healing for many years now, and it's a journey. It does not have marks. It does not have an end. It's just always open. So if we open to what it is, and at this moment I'm experiencing a lot of joy, peace, freedom, great. And maybe in, in a moment tomorrow I might feel differently. So just navigate life being in the moment and that's how we can start healing also our past. So we can make healing our past very complicated and intense or we can make it simple by being with the emotions in the present moment and making conscious decision about what do, we, that, what do we want to do about that pain. Do we want to continue suppressing? Do we want to continue numbing with addictions, with bad habits? Or we want to finally have the courage to face it, to surrender, because that's the beauty. And the other side of your pain there's a tremendous amount of joy and it gets exponential because the more you, you, you go through this process, it's like the joy gets amplified and those emotions, they get weaker, weaker and weaker. You're still going to have anger, fear, sadness, hurt in the present moment. And it's very different to deal with emotions in the present moment when they're just current versus when these emotions of the present moment are attaching to a lot of emotions from the past. That's dense, that's heavy. So the more we go to this process, the lighter we become. And the lighter, lighter we become, the more room we open for joy, for love, 
for peace, for freedom, abundance. And that's how we create heaven on earth. We gotta do the work. We gotta heal our hearts. That's the work. So do the work means just be. Allow grace to show up in your space in any form and support you. Let grace hold you and move those emotions for you. So you realize at the moment that you're not doing this work alone and you need to participate fully. And participating fully doesn't mean doing. It means accepting that moment as it is and allowing grace of the universe to support in that moment. That's what I'm gonna share with you. If you like this video, share on your social media, help me to spread this message of compassion, mercy, love, grace, because I know a lot of people are having a hard time and a lot of people are having a hard time giving themselves permission to feel the pain and allow this pain to move so we all can experience more, more joy together. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend and I talk to you very soon. Mwah.